When the nat next natural disaster hits Houston, it's not guaranteed all the cell phone towers will make it, so it's a good idea to consider how you will manage without your cell phone. Well, meteorologist Sean Dawson has an idea to help with communications on today's emergency gear test. We're going to be talking about walkie talkies today, but these are not the toys we used as kids. These are high power and even require a license from the FCC to legally operate. And because of that, I can't say I fully tested these. So on today's hurricane gear test, this will be more of an unboxing or a show and tell and not so much a full evaluation. We're going to be looking at the Rocky talkie 5 watt radio, and these are going to be better suited for outdoor recreation, but I can't see where they could be helpful for emergencies under certain circumstances. I don't consider myself an expert on two way radios, but I've been around enough to know their weaknesses, and I think Rocky Talkie overcame most of these in this personal communications device. Let's start with the battery life an impressive four to six days on a single charge. The range in the city is not listed on the box here, but the user manual says that it's one and a half miles and the IP67 rating here means that it's drop resistant and waterproof. And that is something that I can test. So let me switch this into scan mode so that the display will stay lit and we'll give it a swim. Now, while for emergencies, this is a great feature. I think it's even more practical in the freedom that it gives you in your outdoor activities. These units also receive NOAA weather radio. Now it won't work inside, but as soon as you step outdoors, this will search and find the right channel. And this can be a great resource in a regional disaster or emergency. It'll provide a lot more than just a weather forecast. Now getting that FCC license to operate, it sounds relatively easy. There is a $35 fee and forms to fill out, but no tests that you have to take. Rocky Talkie provides several resources online to help with that process. I do think this is a great product, but not something everyone needs in their preparedness kits. I'm only giving it a level two on my emergency kit priority scale, but you should definitely look into these if you're in the market for walkie talkies. Each radio is sold separately for $180. Tell me if you have walkie talkies. Go to YouTube and search meteorologist John Dawson.